Welcome to another Prairie Creek Library cook time. Today we're making turkey club squares. It's a great, great way to use up that leftover turkey after Thanksgiving. So to start with, we heated our oven to 450 degrees and we greased a cookie sheet. Next, we're going to mix in two cups of Bisquick. To the Bisquick, you're adding one third cup of mayonnaise. and then one third cup of milk. Okay, then you're gonna mix that together until a soft dough forms. Okay, then you're gonna take that dough and you are going to roll it or pat it out onto your cookie sheet and you're going to form a 12 by 8 rectangle. Once you have that rolled out onto your cookie sheet, you're gonna place the cookie sheet into your oven, which again was preheated to 450 degrees. You're gonna bake it eight to 10 minutes until that's golden brown. Okay, while that's in the oven, you can go ahead and begin your second part. So in a bowl, we're going to mix um, some turkey that's been cubed, and that should be two cups. You're also gonna put in some onion. It should be about two tablespoons. And then you're gonna put in six slices of bacon that have been crisply cooked and crumbled. And then you're gonna put in one fourth cup of mayonnaise. And then you're going to mix that together and we'll put it aside until our crust comes out. Okay, now that our crust is browned, we're gonna go ahead and take that mixture that we made and we're gonna spread that over the crust. And it does say to stay, leave about a quarter of an inch edge on the sides. Okay, then the next thing that you're going to do is sprinkle that with a tomato. It's a large tomato that's been chopped about one cup of tomato. Okay, once the one cup of tomato has been spread around the top, you're gonna to sprinkle the cheese, and our cheese is a Colby Monterey Jack, and you need one cup of that that's been shredded. So one cup of shredded Colby Monterey Jack cheese. Spread that over on the top. Then you're gonna put that back into the oven for five or six minutes until that turkey has been heated through and the cheese has been melted and then you're ready to serve. Okay, there's our finished product. You can see that the cheese has melted. Then you're just gonna to wanna to cut that into the squares and you're ready to serve. Enjoy it. 